Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Elements 11 training course. And in this video, we're going to export our movie. Uh, before we export, I'm going to show you Instant Movie. And what this is, this is a, uh, a little thing we have in here that will make making a movie much easier. I have on our timeline, I have a bunch of pictures. And I'm going to make an instant movie of that, and then we're going to export it. So the first thing I want to do, make sure I have something down here. And then I'll click Instant Movie. And we have themes for our movies. Now let me, let me find a good theme here. And again, these little blue uh, lines in the corner means that these aren't downloaded yet. And you can just right click and download now or download all. Uh, let me find, uh, oh, here's a slideshow, pan and zoom. Uh, let me go ahead and choose that one. Then I'll click next. And we're going to make the opening title, uh, rows, uh, uh, at, Seaport Village. And that, because that's where it was recorded. And the closing titles, uh, see you next Wednesday. One of the best movies of all time. See you next Wednesday. Then we have auto edit, auto analyzer. Apply it to the entire movie. And we can have theme music and, uh, you can have a choose theme music or you can browse for uh, your own music. Let me browse and we'll put in Days Gone By. And then under Speed and Intensity, you can put less effects, slower cuts, faster cuts. You can change this. The duration, you want to match the music or you can uh, specify duration of how long you want it to be. Let's match it to the music. And then a sequence, we'll do it by theme order. Theme content, you have intro, closing movie, transitions, titles, menus. And then we have render preview, yes or no. So we're going to click apply. And all users applied effects setter shall be replaced. Replace. And then, uh, contains many effects and multi-composition rendering is complete. Recommended for smoother playback. Do you want to render? Um, yeah, why not? And it's going to go through and render the uh, entire video. And it looks like I just ran out of space on my drive, which isn't a good thing. But I don't really want to sit here for 11 minutes, so I'm going to cancel the render. And let's play and see what happens. Let's see what we get. You can see it's pretty jagged because it's... um not actually running very well but we created an instant movie you can change the settings that's whatever you want to settings you want to change you see it added the music um, it did all of that so the next thing we want to do is we want to do it to a YouTube and it also applies to Vimeo and um, uh, Facebook and all the others that we have so we're going to come up to publish and share and we're going to go online so let's pick online so it's got some presets set up and 